Welcome to the first virtual ERA EDTA Congress 2020. The purpose of this short video is to share a participant experience with you and guide you through the virtual environment. After you've completed the short registration, you'll arrive in front of the building. By clicking on the branded banner above the main entrance, you are then transported into the lobby area. Before you enter the lobby, and in accordance with GDPR rules, each participant will be asked to agree with the terms and conditions for the virtual ERA EDTA Congress. Please note, by agreeing with the terms and conditions, the participants are in agreement that other participants are able to see their name. Also, they are able to chat with each other in the public lobby of the virtual ERA EDTA. They also agree that once they arrive at a virtual booth in the exhibition area, that when clicking on the booth, the booth rep will be able to see them and contact them via private chat. However, the participant needs to click into one of the booth functions before this is possible. Once they've agreed to the terms and conditions, participants are welcomed into the lobby area. The lobby area feels just like a Congress lobby with welcome desks. Here, participants will see a welcome video which explains how this experience will work. The participant also has the opportunity to see his colleagues in the public chat area and to get in touch with them. If a participant has a question about the event, they can be put onto the chat screens at the welcome desk here and answered swiftly by the event team. From the lobby area, there's clear signage so you can easily find your next destination. Let's go to the exhibit hall. Here you will see booths of various sizes. The size and complexity of your booth depends on your sponsorship level. You can search by booth name here, making it easier to navigate. Main sponsors can additionally be placed on the screens above, which will remain in the same position always. Let's explore the Congrex booth in a little more detail. Congrex has one of our large booths, meaning they have a high level of sponsorship. As you can see, the logo and the brand are clearly visible. And when you hover over the booth, you can see an overview about that booth. The larger booths have multiple screens for content. As you enter the booth, you can set an action that the visitor will automatically be played a video. The screen behind the welcome desk can display some introductory information to entice visitors, as can the scroll over function before you enter the booth. This screen here could be used for video or more engaging activities like online quizzes. Also a chat screen is available so that you can interact with one of the booth reps one-to-one. -one. It's worth noting that the sponsorship level will determine the level of functionality on the booth. For example, the more premium packages could include direct face-to-face -face calling options and chats with visitors to your booth. There are also multiple levels of reporting available depending on the level of sponsorship. Higher level sponsors can view a wide range of data and see how people are interacting with the content, record chat history and individual data so they know exactly who visited the booth, who looks at what for how long, and the time a person spends on their booth, whereas smaller booths will get more randomised detail. Now let's take a look at some of the other functionality. The briefcase function is a place for participants to store key documentation from booth owners, the organisers and the symposia. They can also schedule a meeting with a rep. By clicking the request a meeting button, a rep or team member that you assign will receive a notification and contact details of the person who's requested the meeting. Every participant can start a chat with your booth staff as well and if available, a video call. As you can see, this environment will ensure that we can deliver the usual high quality education, science and opportunities. 